Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to try out Ravage Road Deck Defense, and it is a, a roguelike tower defense deck building game. We've played a lot of roguelike tower defense games in the past. I absolutely love them, especially when you're mixing deck building in the mix as well. Um, and uh, the dev reached out, wanted to see if I would check out this game. It looked interesting, so I said yes. Uh, we did get a review, or a one giveaway copy as well, so uh, if you're watching this when it first comes out, check out our Discord. Uh, but either Way, we're gonna just check it out. We're gonna try out the tutorial first to kind of learn how to play. Um, but middle management demon, ah, here they are, the brand new road expansion manager. Welcome to the team. You understand why you're here, I assume. As you can see, we've completed construction on our latest tower of magnificent evil. This is where you come in. Your job is to direct the construction of the road from which we will spread the influence our of our beloved evil overlord. Unfortunately, this tends to attract the attention of the locals who sent heroes ugh, to try to destroy destroy the tower. So part of your task is to determine where to build the road, but also to hire various minions to build defenses. It's dreadfully inconvenient, you see, when heroes attack our evil towers. If enough of them get through, the tower falls. Oh, and do be attentive when you plan the road layout. If you lock yourself into a dead end, you'll be pulled from the assignment. Oh, so you just instantly lose if you go to a dead end? So let's start with the basics. To move the camera, use the WASD keys or click and drag the middle mouse button. Okay, easy enough. Let's draw some cards to work with. See these blue land cards? You drew your land deck is on the bottom right. Uh, as an entry level road expansion manager, you start with just one land card per turn, but eventually you'll unlock more. So click the blue land card, it's a planes, and it goes left. So press, press R to rotate the tile to the right and E to rotate to the left. Line it up against the tile you've already placed and click it. Okay, easy enough. So we added it. That's the basics of placing a land tile. You can only place one land tile per turn. You can't end your turn until you do. So it reminds me a lot of like a rogue tower in that sense. Next, let's hire some ruffians to defend the main tower. These goblins will do just fine for now. They're affordable. Like the land cards, first you click the card you want to place, hover over the location you'd like to place it, and click. Unlike the land cards, these goons will demand payment before they can be placed. The build cost is on the top right corner of the card. You can see your current stash of gold coins on the top left of the screen. Ah, now look at that goblin card on the left. That one has an upgrade. You can hover over the cards in your hand to look m to learn more. Upgraded tower cards are more expensive to build, but usually worth the cost. We'll talk more about upgrading tower cards later. When you're selecting where to build a tower, a white circle will appeal to show you the tower's range. Pay as much attention to the range placement as to the tower itself. Good strategic placement covers as much road as possible. Go on then, get some goblins in a position to defend the tower. I'll wait. I don't feel like this is an appropriate, um, <laughs> I don't think that th this, uh, voice I'm giving accent is fitting him, but I'm committed now at this point. So, okay. Goblin fire rate. So he just has more of a fire rate. So, oh, so we can litter. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. All oh, this game is so cute. Okay. Okay. We got the goblins there. Adequately done. You can see the card you played last at the top of your discard pile. So this is this, I'm just covering up what our last card was. That's our discard pile. If you end your turn with cards still in your hand, those will be chucked into the discard pile as well. Well, you're as ready as you'll ever be. To end your turn, you can either click on the end turn button or hit space key. Okay, so then we have some heroes. Here comes the first hero. Looks pretty unimpressive. Yes, the longer you build your road, the more of them will come. If you're ever unsure about just what you're up against, you can click an enemy for more information. So that's a squire. Um, I just want to show you, I'm going to move Grindbot out of the way, just so you can see how, uh, how basic they are. Here, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep Grindbot there, but it's, it's a very, it's a very basic, very basic, very basic. I'll move Grindbot a little bit like that, though. Uh, the most basic enemy is finally unremarkable in every way. I like the, the, <laughs> I like the humor in this game. Not so frightening. Our Magnificent Overload is a bounty out on heroes and we'll pay you one gold coin per enemy slain. I have heard some other road expansion managers complain that the bounty is the same regardless of the enemy difficulty. One head, one coin I'm afraid. That's the rule. And if they reach the tower, you won't get so much as a wooden nickel. In fact, most enemies when they reach your tower will make you lose a notch of tower health. The tower's health is displayed in green rectangles at the top of the screen. If it reaches zero, tower falls. Uh, you'll leave to see another day and likely manage another tower road since the concept of accountability is more of a hero thing. Well, let's see how this plays out. So, we killed it. At the start of your turn, you'll draw a new land card and a new hand of potential goons. You can place the land tile before or after 
You build towers, there are strategic reasons to do one or the other. Another strategy tip, you can hover over the mouse over your defensive towers to see the area can target to decide to where to build the rest, or the roads. The land cards you've drawn this round is turning pieces. Remember, you can rotate with R and E. Please also remember, if you turn the road on in, in on itself and create a dead end, the mission will end on a loss. So like Rogue Tower, where it just lets you do that, this will, I guess, you'll just lose. So go ahead and place the land tile. If you ever want to cancel out a place of land tower, land or towers, right mouse button. So we have planes that we got to use here. We're going to rotate it to the right. And then, excellent. Well, you've had a uh, hand of potential goblin underlings, but not enough gold to hire any of them to build the fences. Try to take that sort of thing into an account. Think several turns in advance if you can. For now, there's nothing else for you to do but end your turn. It's like a very basic art style, but I, it's really charming. Ah, look at that. You've drawn a spell card. Spell cards can be quite useful. Spells, when equipped to your main tower, give you something to do during the enemy turn. Fireball is the most basic of spell cards, but there's a reason it's a stable. The cost on the card is both the cost to equip the spell to your tow tower as well as the cost to cast a spell each time. Click the Fireball spell card and then click the empty gray box in the top right spell section of your display to equip this new spell. Boop. So we have Fireball. How fun! Before you can end your turn and get to roasting heroes, you still have to place the land tile. Okay, so um, yeah, let's have it go like that. So it'll it'll match up there, and uh, we'll end our turn. Behold, these hapless fools! I enjoy a good roasting. This should be fun. The mages in your central tower will require materials to cast magic, which costs money. Each time you cast, you pay this fee. Spells must recharge between castings. The meter is in the top right. Will tell you if it's finished recharging. To cast a spell, hold Q, target the enemies, and click. I'll pay for the first one as a treat. Ready, aim, fire. Boom! Oh dang, that was pretty good. Wasn't that fun? Remember, you can only cast spells during the enemy turn. Once you've equipped a spell, it won't appear in your hand again unless you replace it with a different spell. If you'd like to take a look at all the cards in your deck, click on the deck to the left of your hand of tower cards. So we can look at our deck here. I forgot what terrible cards the new hires start with. That well, you'll just have to get better ones as you progress. You can close this window whenever you like, place your land card, end your turn. Okay. Boop. And... I'll just save my money. Well, this one is new. Remember, you can click an enemy to get new information. So this is a soldier. Uh, slightly slower than a squire, but with more than twice the health. A minor annoyance. So as you can see, this new opponent will take more strikes to defeat than the ones you've been fighting. Remember to click an enemy you are unfamiliar with so you can understand what you're up against. I think we'll be fine. Because we did the road really good. I am a professional tower defense player. Thank you very much. Ah, an important matter to draw to your attention. Do you see that alert in your land card deck? That alert is warning you that a merchant will spawn when you place this turn's land tile. There are different kinds of merchant offerings, new cards for sale, upgrades, and the chance to sell unwanted cards. Merchants arrive every five turns, so take that into account when you're planning how to spend your money. Remember not to spend all your gold placing towers before you place your land tile and see what kind of merchant shows up. Let's place that land tile and summon the merchant. Boop! There's a merchant. Ah, the blacksmith. This merchant can upgrade both spells and defensive towers, so they're very useful. There are three possible upgrades. Range, attack, speed, and damage. Oh, I was like, range, attack, speed, and damage. Each will increase the cost of your card further. When you upgrade a card, if that card happens to be in your hand, it'll immediately go into your discard pile. Also, worth noting, previously placed defensive towers aren't upgraded retroactively. The goblins you hire will only build what you paid them to build at the time. You likely can't afford an upgrade, but let me see here. Yes, I got to requisition some funds for you. I'll expend it as a work lunch. Go ahead, purchase one of the upgrades. We can leave the blacksmith. Um, so click the upgrade card and choose a card to upgrade. So damage up or damage up. So what? I do damage up on this one. So we have a big goblin. Purchase upgrade. You want me to do it again? What happens if we look at the fireball? I don't want to do that. Just a random goblin. Oh, I can't aff Oh, it cost. Oh. Okay. We'll do... We'll, I guess we'll do the spell. Notice that the blacksmith shop occupies a tile that would otherwise be buildable by a defensive tower. You can't build on tiles occupied by merchants, and once you've dismissed them, you can't purchase from them again. That means you can only buy from them when they first appear, and then after they're... Um, and then after that, they're done doing business with you. Your upgraded card has been put in the discard pile, so you might not draw it for a while. Go ahead and end your turn. It's interesting. This is a really interesting game. 
It's, it's kind of a long tutorial, but I feel like it's a decent tutorial, though, so I can't be too, like, upset or anything. It's got charm. Also, on the bottom left, we got, like, a potion. Now, this land card you've drawn is a T-shaped path. When, it's, when you split a path, enemies will spawn at all new entrances, not just one. Things start to get complicated when you're managing multiple branching pathways. That's why we hire someone to manage the whole process. You. We hired you to deal with this, so you'll want to learn the strategy behind splitting paths. Splitting paths cleverly can root the majority of enemies through a deadly gauntlet of efficiently placed towers, maximizing resources. Poorly laid paths can result in weak spots in all your defenses and undo all your hard work. One advantage of branching pathway is... If one branch loops into a dead end, as long as there's one still can be built from it, you'll still be good. Oh, so you can branch off certain things, dead end some of them. What's important is there's always one open road. Another thing, every so often the heroes bring a boss. Bosses will always spawn at the end of the longest path. You should plan accordingly. Go ahead and place the land tile. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So it's only, yeah, we'll do that. Acceptable for your first time. You go ahead and take the wheel for a while. I need to refill my coffee. You'll probably be fine. Okay. We'll go ahead and place a goblin right there. I think that's an appropriate place for a goblin. And honestly, I, I don't know how much I like that the, the, the spells you have to uh, spend gold on them. I do like that you're not upgrading the towers after you've placed them. That's something I don't know why. I just... I like things that manually upgrade or like... I don't like when games you have to upgrade them. So I like the way that you upgrade future cards. Like you're upgrading the cards. You know, I, I really like that. Um, okay, we're going to place this. Go ahead and place another tower right there. And the turn. Pretty, pretty cool game though. I wonder if there's going to eventually be like a fast forward button. Auto slow. Oh, auto slow. I, okay, so it slows it when they're near our tower, which is fair. But just from tower defense games, I'm already wanting to speed it up. Um. Uh, okay, this is our... Oh, that's our huge goblin. We can't really afford that, so I'm going to just do a normal one right here. Yeah, whatever. Right there. Oh, by the great spreadsheets of sin, how did this happen? Where did all these heroes come? I leave a new hire unsupervised for five minutes, and every wannabe knight emerges from the woodworks. Knight, the first cavalry type unit, twice as fast as squire, tougher than a soldier. What did you do? Put up posters? Never mind, never mind. This sword looks deadly, but you'll survive. Have a look at the bottom left. You have a potion available. A potion will restore your tower to full health if it reaches zero. So we're obviously going to die here. We're supposed to die. That was the potions I was talking about in the bottom left I'm covering. I think I'm meant to take damage here. Oh no, whatever happened. And then we'll we'll fireball. Oh, fireball did not do much at all. Are we still going to die here? Well, that was unpleasant. Tower's still standing. You're totally out of potions. Potions can be hard to come by. You'll start one at the beginning of every mission by default. Perhaps in the future, you'll think of a way to lure potion-selling merchants to your road. All right. Well, go ahead. Resume that you were doing. I'll just watch a little bit more attentively. It's, 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 it's kind, of, kind of a longer tutorial. That's fine, though. So that's, that's the knight right there. They're really fast. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more. I don't think there's a way to zoom in. I want to get my like crazily upgraded guy, but he's going to cost 10. Yeah, I can't afford him. Now, if you remember, I told you merchants show up every five turns. So knowing that you shouldn't be surprised to see what a blazing homestead, the shop notification hovering over the land deck is in the bottom right as expected, but the notification above end turn. Okay, that's a boss is coming. Boss units normally appear every 25 turns. Each boss has his own abilities, none of which you've equipped to handle right now. Maybe the merchant that's about to spawn will have something to help us. But new cards go right into the discard pile. You'll never get to play a new card on the same turn you purchased it. I'm afraid this tower is likely doomed, but let's see through this at the end. It's important to remember that some rewards, crowns, will be lost if you quit early instead of letting the tower crumble. So it's just saying we're going to lose. He told us we're going to lose. Thanks, 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 game. Um... Okay, we'll buy a... Oh, I don't know why I just bought the Hobgoblin. Whatever. 
Yep, that's right, the boss. You can identify the boss by the white outline and the crown. If you defeat a boss, you'll collect their crown. Even if the tower is destroyed, you keep any crowns. The gold is meaningless, but not crowns. If you can bring back crowns from defeating bosses, there's for permanent boons and upgrades. So this is a rogue light. It's got out again progression, I guess. I don't know you got much chance. Okay, well. Oh, fireball costs two. So upgrading your. Oh. Yeah. Boss got us. You got an achievement called FF. Watch your tower crumble for the first time. Well, we build. Wouldn't have mattered even if you still had that potion. Boss reaching the tower is always the end of the road. Falling upwards. Let's look at the skill tree. If you can collect some crowns by defeating bosses, you can start each road project with more and more benefits. If you can survive 100 waves of heroes, we conquer the region. And you get to actually call yourself successful. You're going to need a lot more than just goblin camps and basic spells to make it to wave 100. I'll leave... You here to pursue all these existing things you can't afford. Exciting. When you're ready, head back out to the main menu. Click start new run. Give this a try without my help. You can always play the tutorial again. Best of luck. Welcome to the team. We got an achievement. Okay, so we can get things like a uh, free tower card when we kill a boss. Bunch of cool stuff that we can get. We can't afford any of them. That's really cool. So now we're going to try a run of our own here. I've managed to requisition a few goods for you on this new tower build. You can pick one. 10 gold, a health, extra health potion, or fire rate up upgrade. Let's get a fire rate up upgrade on one of the goblins. So we're just already starting with an upgraded one. Oh, we already started with a split. We already started with a split. I don't know if that's if that's very good. Probably not. Whatever. Uh, I think we could just probably do one and try to save some of our money here. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, we already took damage, never mind. Okay, so now I know I need to spend all my money here. Which means I can't even afford this goblin then. So we'll just equip this spell. And... We will... Oh, I can't afford... Oh, okay. I, I kind of shot myself in the foot here a little bit. There we go, never mind. Spell. Um. Okay, I kind of want to do something like this. You know? The problem here is anyone that spawns over here. Hey, never though. We got it. We got it. Cool. Okay. Okay. The thing that we're not able to afford this thing at all. Oh, man, dude. I, I, I'm going to wait for a curve. I think this is not the right play. Okay. But if I can get it to both curve down like this, that'd be pretty cool. I just, I keep wasting all my money on fireballs. Oh, come on. Give me give me a straight one. Oh, it's a junk. I buy junk you don't need even mercenary contracts. So we can discard anything. I mean, might as well just get rid of the normal guys, right? Because, I don't know. Okay, goblin. Let's get another goblin like right here to actually help that side. Come on, come on. Why is it sometimes we're able to do it and sometimes we're not? Was it just because there were too many? Okay, okay. Still getting just these straight ones. I don't want that. This is okay. I'm, I'm doing so bad. Goblin, we got we got a we got a higher fire rate goblin. I'm 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 doing this terribly. Hey, Killer B, thanks for following. So this is the higher fire rate one. I like how simple placing the towers is. I really like how you upgrade the cards, which help future placements so much more. Don't usually watch Twitch anymore. Thanks for hooking me up with Sunday for the project. Been great. Have a great stream. Cheers. Oh, I was wondering. I recognized your username. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. I'm glad it uh, worked out. I'm sure... Uh, He'll be one. I think he's just waiting a little bit because he's got a uh, another Among Us themed thing coming out this week. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, appreciate you popping here though. You can thank um, I think uh, Daily Tactics and um, Plastic Scott connected me. Do you? Okay. So we've got this part covered here. Maybe a little bit too well, but I don't know. Just need to try to say see I guess I don't need to hmm I don't know but now we can at least start expanding this part I just wanted it to it to look all nice and neat 
Okay. Oh, but we already have another... Actually, that's fine. That's fine. That's actually maybe even better. And I'm not even going to spend any money here. I'm not even going to spend any money. Because I think... I think we're fine. And I want to save up for when we can actually get the... The seven gold one, you know? Entire pipeline. <laughs> what did my parents do fun on my first laptop? Yeah, that was... Uh, I remember my graduation present from uh, one of my awesome aunts was like a decent chunk of change and I used it all to build my first computer that I really, you know, used a lot to, um, you know, stream a bunch, you know. Or not stream, make content, you know. So I totally, totally feel that. Uh, we've kind of converged these pretty well here. So now all of these are going to be able to hit each other. I really like this tower defense game. Now that we're playing it for like on our, like, you know, not the tutorial. I really like this. This is, this is a clever, 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 clever uh, game here. I really like this. Uh, we'll, we'll have this one loop inwards there. Oh, okay. Damage up or fire rate. Let's go ahead and increase the damage up on the fire rate one. Oh, I can't afford that. Dang it. Um, okay, we'll just increase fire rate up. Actually, no, we'll increase the damage up on a random one here, I guess. The problem is, is yeah, you have to pay. Oh, that's that's an interesting thing you got to pay for. How Or interesting how you have to pay for it, though. But, like, the, the tower defense mechanics of this are, like, relatively simple. Oh, wait, what's that? Assassin. These sneaky little murderers have a chance to dodge every hit you throw at them. I like how we're evil, but like, uh, I don't know. This, this is a, the theming on this is kind of cool. Um, okay, we're going to loop that back around. This is an interesting way to do this here. So there's another increased fire rate one. Mm. I think just putting them like here is relative. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money here. There's another assassin. There's the knight. But like, I don't know, especially when it, like when you're playing just a tower defense game, it makes sense to have really in-depth upgrade trees and systems like Bloom Star Defense. But when you're when you're mixing it with other mechanics like deck builders and roguelikes, I think you should let those elements be what the depth is versus the tower defense. That's just my point of view. So I really like games where like you just don't upgrade the towers. Like we're upgrading the cards which in turn upgrade the towers, you know. Okay, this is a higher damage tower. That's cool. We'll, pl we'll place that down. We don't really have anything down here at the spawn, but... I also just realized we may, if we don't get a branching path, I think we actually just accidentally killed ourselves. If we just keep getting straight lines, because then it's going to... Uh, that we, we did what the game warned us not to do. So that might not be the best. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit. Let me know that's too loud. There we go, splitting path, nice. Boop. Because it said as long as one of them is still branching, you're fine. Um, I'm gonna save my money once again here. There's no income, but I feel it. I think a shop's coming up soon. Because it's every five, right? Or I guess I could just look at the wave numbers. That'd be an easy way to tell. Oh, there is a fast forward button. There is a fast forward button. Hallelujah, we found it. We found it. Um, okay, branching path. Oh, this is a perfect way to do this branching path here. Okay, we'll go ahead and place this goblin fire rate one right here. And that just that's it. Oh, took some damage there. Okay. Wait, what is this? Extra damage they deal to the tower makes uh, these a threat despite being slow. Okay. Okay. Looking to... Okay, we could hire an orc. So I hired an orc. So I guess we'll see what that does when it happens. I'm going to put something down there. So it auto slows it down back. Okay, I see what that means now. Nice. Splitting path. Yeah, I definitely don't 
yeah, let's let's just cut it off there. So these are orcs here. Let's see what orcs do. Okay, let's pay attention to the orcs. I guess like that's the one bad thing is I don't really know what the differences of the towers are. I don't know what's different between an orc and a goblin. They they look pretty similar to me. Like the towers. Um, we'll get a goblin with damage here. Mm. Starting to get a lot more money just because there's more enemies, obviously. That was the assassin. Just a straight. We're keeping this pretty even. Yeah, it's just like I don't know the stats between a goblin and an orc. I feel like that... It should make it a little bit more clear what the difference between the things are, you know? What is that, a bard? The other enemies speed up when the bard is nearby as if desperate to get away. That's funny. Oh, okay, we're gonna fireball. Fireball again. Ah, oh, rip. Okay, so th th we're struggling on this side here. Um. Okay, let's let's get another. Let's put an orc down there. Make it a little bit longer. Okay, that's fine. I like how even though it's like very simplistic pixel art, we can still tell what everything is. Um. Hmm. Kind of want these to still be close to each other. I could just end one of them, but I don't think that's the play. Let's have it go outwards. Blacksmith. Okay, we'll do a range up on the orc. Okay, range up on the orc. But that's the thing. I have no clue what makes the orc different. Barbarian, this enemy enters a frothing rage at half health and runs much faster. So we just we kind of got screwed by that guy. Um, okay, we'll just... There we go. Keep these paths kind of near each other. 12, okay, big range orc here. Yeah, because you can't even change the targeting on these guys. What's that? What's this? What's that guy? Cleric heals themselves and nearby allies, but does no damage to the tower if they reach it. That's interesting. Paladins have 10 times the health of a basic soldier. Nice. Um, get an orc here. Big, Yeah, the big range orc. Though, like, once again, I don't know how good an orc is. Do they just freeze? Wizard, these magic meddlers use spells to freeze towers and prevent them from firing. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy a damage up goblin. But then I kind of want to save some of the money. Because uh, I feel like there's a shop coming up. Yeah, wave, or wave 23. There's the cleric. We see him healing. Get out of here. like that we have all these towers at the end, actually. I'm going to have this split off there like that. Uh, you know, I think I can afford another orc, big range orc. Was that? Oh, that was the bar. Okay, yeah, that's the guy that gets enraged. Nice. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Um. Okay. Okay, looking to hire. So there's hobgoblins. So I just bought a hobgoblin, but I don't. I guess the thing I don't know what. What does anything do? the crap does anything do? I really don't know. Oh, he's a boss. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw some fireballs here at the boss. Let's slow things down here. Champion, this boss has a healing aura that benefits all the nearby. Okay, we gotta just fireball. We're gonna spend all our fireballs here on hitting this boss. Long click. Yeah, I could try that. We may die here, though. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! We died. Dang. Which, we also didn't even collect a single crown, which means we don't get anything on the skill tree. View codex. Okay, towers. 
Okay, we can read them here at least. I think it should tell me in the game, but goblin camps lop, lob rocks at passing enemies, low tech, but effective enough. Hobgoblins are ballistas fire barrage of three missiles in a row. Orc takes them longer to fire. Orcs are big spi- so they do an area. Orcs are AOE damage. Hobgoblins just attack a lot. Goblins, normal. Bugbears are roly polies chew through enemies. A few enemies before dying. Blink beasts, these beasts teleport to one targeted enemy to stick to his, okay, we don't need to look at all of them. I think they should only show us the ones that we have, but, okay. Um, we got a blizzard spell. Let's just get the gold. Okay. So we don't have a splitting path immediately. I feel like that, that, that hurt us a little bit. Um, we're gonna put a goblin. We're gonna put a fireball. And we're gonna put another goblin there. Um, planes, perfect, perfect. We will goblin, goblin. We just have a straight path here. Yeah, and I'm trying to long click them and I still don't, uh, yeah. I don't see them. Okay, we gotta do a l branching thing. Maybe we'll branch it down here. Nice, we got that guy. Barely almost got him, or almost didn't get him. Okay, we already have a splitting path here now, unfortunately. Okay, we'll go like that. I buy junk you don't need. Okay, we'll get rid of a goblin. Goblin. Got an achievement department downsizing. Um... This, this seems to be a lot better of a path than last time. A lot better. I should have paid attention that the boss was coming. Oh my gosh, here we go. That way it's all, they're all going this way. This is interesting actually. This is, this, we got a good way to do the road here this time. Um, oh, this, this, this messes some stuff up here, I think. Um, hmm, we could just, yeah, honestly, let's just split it right there and we'll put some extra because it is a short road, so. Sometimes it can be, like I know in Rogue Tower, if you have a really short road, sometimes it's actually a bad thing. But I think as long as we like, get some extra stuff around it. Like look at this, they all have to go through this general area. Okay, oh gosh, another one? Okay, that's maybe okay. So we got a Hobgoblin. We got a single Hobgoblin. So they are, they do like multi hits or something. Okay, we have to go this way. Um, it's like I really just these corners here. Seem like a very good spot to... Because they just pass this little part here and they are screwed. Okay, we can get hobgoblins here. Okay. See what the... Let's see. So the hobgoblins do more. I don't know why they wouldn't tell you what it does in-game. But we can see it's like the three attack thing there. Okay, splitting path here. Uh, probably go like that. Can be a little bit more contained. We will get hobgoblin right there. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay, there we go. Branching. Yeah, let's bring that one branching inwards. Get more stuff around this line. Yeah, this is going so much better. Now that we know how to fast forward it, too. Um, yeah, let's brand, Let's do the same thing. Let's have this like kind of intersection. Okay, damage up the Hobgoblin. Yes. That's huge. I think that's really huge. Because it's got multiple attacks. So multiple higher damaged attacks now seem really good for that. For the hobgoblin. Nice. Here's a big boy hobgoblin here. It's a good spot for him. Oh, land tile. Okay. 
probably want to now have stuff along these lines. Um, yeah, just get that as a dead end. The hobgoblin right there. We even get a normal goblin right there. That way we can start dealing some damage to him. So the goal here is just to be able to beat our first boss at wave 25. That way when we die, we'll at least get like one out of game progression thing. This game looks cool. This is, it's, it's a very, I really like this one. Okay, so we can't let this one die. So unfortunately this is not great here. But yeah, no, this is, this is really cool. Okay, let's just get two of these placed down, whatever. Because bosses are going to spawn on the longest road. So right now, that's obviously this one here. Um, oh my gosh, another splitting already? Excuse me? Okay, let's get a hobgoblin there. Get a normal goblin, like... There. It's getting... I, yeah, it's weird that I can't zoom in or zoom out. The things I would recommend is... I should be able to really be able to tell what the towers do in game for seven to look at the codec and also um, yeah the uh, definitely wish I could kind of zoom in okay fire rate up hobgoblin nice so we just made our hobgoblin absolutely bonkers And we're five away from the boss wave. Nice, this giant hobgoblin here. Definitely want to start placing him down here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and loop it. We just want to keep having these small little like intersections, you know? Cause like, as you could tell here, that, that was huge. Um, ooh, yeah, loop over there. Let's get another hobgoblin the start here. I'm just, I'm trying to focus a lot more on where the boss is. Because last time we got bodied by the boss. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, build this as a little intersection in here. Um, another hobgoblin right there. Yeah, the, our upgraded fire rate and damage hobgoblins. Huge. That's huge. Um, just a straight line. Do one more hobgoblin over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a hobgoblin over here. I feel like we've... I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah. Put one one back there. Because, yeah. I mean, to me, we're still totally fine over here. I'm glad I put one more thing just in case. You know, it's good to have stuff in the back. But, okay. Here we go. We got a boss fight here. Do we want an orc? So orc is AOE. So we'll get a single orc. We'll get another uh, hobgoblin placed down here. Okay, so there's the boss. I think we should be fine, even without using spells. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, get destroyed! We got a crown. We finally got a crown. So we have some out of game progression if we need. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. That's a good p branching path here. Oh, okay, and then an orc. Let's get some AoE. Start getting some AoE over here. We want to make sure we have one orc in each general area. I think it's going to be a good idea. This music, this music's good here. Um, okay, we'll just get one more there. One more right there. Don't want to spend all our money. It's pretty good. Pretty good, though. So the next boss, oh, okay, so here's another orc. Let's get an orc um, right around there. So we have AoE here, AoE here. Another crazy strong hobgoblin. Um, splitting right there. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, okay, they're starting to scare me around here. So next orc, I definitely want to put a couple up here. Um, there, we'll get a hobgoblin, uh, well, that's a decent place, that way it hits both spawns there, saving a decent amount of my money though, I don't know why, 
I guess we're about to get an upgrade, so this could be good. Um, yes, rotate it that way. I buy junk you don't need anymore. Okay, let's get rid of just the normal goblins here. Okay, so another orc. Let's get an orc over here. Um, yeah, I guess right there. It's both of the entrances. Got a goblin here. We're starting to have a lot of money here. Probably should be spending all our money. Oh, there's like a boar? Bear. Bears are slow but have lots of health and will deal extra damage to the tower. Is that a duck? Druid. They transform into a bear. Oh. 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 Um. Yeah, I want to start putting more stuff here at the back. Okay, we'll get an orc. Um. It's another orc right there. I should just start throwing stuff everywhere, because... I have the money, right? I don't see there's I don't think there's any reason to save the money right now. Um Yeah, let's just loop that. I don't need to split this anymore. Hobgoblin. Get a goblin. Or an orc. A goblin. See ya. Um, okay, I think we can have this one end, and this could be the continuing one. Actually, no, never mind. Wait. No, yeah, we'll... Actually, yeah, let's loop it. Let's loop that way. Hobgoblin, another hobgoblin right there. Another orc right there. Goblin right there. This is starting to get a little bit crazy. I wish I could zoom out to see it all at once. But then it probably would be too small. Um, yeah, just increase this. Yeah, so these will hit that one. You can just start throwing a bunch of stuff over here because it'll hit both. Oh, but yeah, this, this part is war is hell for them right here. And I've just, I, I'm starting to have an, like crazy amount of money here. 70 gold. I'm just able to buy everything, which is a little bit weird because it's taking the decision making out of this. Like I just place one of everything. Like I guess it's important where I'm placing it. Oh, wait, I, I was not. Oh, hire another orc? Like what's the point of hiring more orcs? You, I'm still only drawing the same amount every time, right? So I do, I do wish the upgrade system was a little bit more fleshed out, or the deck building, because that's what I was saying. Like I like the 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 tower defense being a bit more simplified if every other of the mechanics are carrying the complexity. But now, now I'm starting to feel a bit samey. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling like everything's kind of the same right now. Like we're just doing the same thing. We're placing all of the towers. There's no decision making anymore beyond that of the money. Buying multiple of a certain person doesn't make sense to me. Because I feel like in this type of game, you really need... Uh, though, maybe a lot of that comes from the out-of-game progression, I guess. I can't, I can't say for sure until we look at the out-of-game progression, but... I think that this is Fast Forward, which is the big downfall of Vanilla Rogue Tower. Yeah, I honestly forgot that Rogue Tower didn't have a uh, Fast Forward. Or does it not have... I could have sworn it did but you're probably right I probably just got used to it not having it because yeah, having a fast forward is like an absolute necessity for these types of games that's for sure modded does makes sense it seems like the first mod that would exist people like their fast forward that's what I was looking for the second we started playing this one Okay, I have to extend this one out. Um, yeah, it just like feels like there's no decision making anymore. I'm just I'm just puking towers down, which is kind of satisfying, but it's not very interesting anymore. So I'm I'm a bit I don't I don't know how to think I don't know how to feel. 
Cause like yeah, look, I just I keep I keep doing the same thing. I I, I don't know. Why I guess get rid of the goblin I had? I, I don't get rid of the orc I just bought? I don't I don't know. We're just the more we're getting more and more and more gold. I don't know. Yeah, go yeah, it's a, a wave a hundred is the goal. So I think we're gonna just keep going until I guess we hit a oh oh I want to go like that but if we close ourselves then we lose so I don't know it's, it's crazy how quickly my opinion of this game changed. Like, solely because I just feel like nothing new has happened. Gold no longer matters. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get through this as fast as I can. I mean, I might as well just start chucking fireballs. I have infinite money here. I'm freaking 220 money. Let's just start chucking fireballs. Maybe the depth comes in. I'm going to just hope that the depth comes in in the form of the out-of-game progression, you know? Like unlocking new deck building things, upgrading ways to upgrade ourselves, you know? Stuff like that. Um, okay, this is a good way. I can equip... Okay, yes. Range up on this freaking hobgoblin. That costed 19. That was a lot. Like, I'm just making one thing like 28. Like, the tower costs 28. So I guess we're about to get to another boss. So this is a 28. Oh my gosh, look at how strong this guy is. Holy cow. Oh, we gotta split this weird. Oh, I should have played that other. We just have infinite money. Infinite money. Well, now I, now I know why this spells cost this money here. Because you have infinite of it. Um, okay, Hobgoblin to cover all that part. Another Orc, because why not? Wait, am I only drawing two now? Why am I only drawing two cards now? What? <laughs> I don't understand this game. I don't understand this game. How does this game work? Like, it is so satisfying watching all of this, but... Maybe we'll at least get a second crown so we'll have more out-of-game progression. This hobgoblin is insane, though. Stacking all the upgrades on him. I don't know why I'm only drawing one or two cards now per one. Also, yeah, this this f floor being short is I can see scaring me a little bit. To get really close to the tower, I should start putting more towers here at the, you know, this part. Um, so there's gonna be a boss fight here. So it's gonna start from here. I don't see. It keeps offering me this junk one. I don't. I don't need you I don't need you to show up anymore okay so boss is gonna spawn right here what is he boss relies on the spirits of its nearby allies making them move faster so we're gonna just chuck fireballs constantly at this guy don't get rid of your cards yeah it seems like it so we have two oh that gave us two crowns 
That's the thing. If I... I, I can't enclose myself in. Because then we are for sure going to lose. I don't want to throw that way. Are we really going to just beat the game, like, for real the first time we play it? Or I guess second time. Oh, I... I doubt... Okay. I... I... Oh. 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 Okay. This, see, this is what I was talking about. These, I need to keep putting more towers here at the beginning. We may, we may lose right now here. I don't know. You had to say it, didn't you? <laughs> These clever opponents build a stream of little automatons to distract your forces. Oh, get destroyed by those automatons. I think we didn't use our potion. Still low health though. Oh, this is awful. This splitting one here. Yeah, I think I just now I need to just play defensive and just put towers at the end here. I, I don't know why. I can't. I don't know. We may just lose here. Yeah, because it's, it's that one road. I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off auto slow because it's like I know I'm gonna take damage so we just lost our potion there I think we're dead here those automatons oh the automatons don't deal damage I don't think I'm just gonna keep putting stuff over here I really just have to ignore everything else that's happening. But like, then again, Rogue Tower felt very stale until you got some of the meta progression upgrades. So I'm gonna just really hope that this game's the same. You know? Probably gonna die here soon. And there it is. Oh, never mind. I just yeah, the the drawing two really uh really threw me off. I'm trying, I'm trying to put everything here at the back. It's not enough. Okay, I think we're definitely dead on this wave. But I'm trying. I'm trying. We're lobbing fireballs off cooldown because we have infinite money. Because that's the thing. Yeah, it takes the decision. Like, I wish, like, you just had a certain amount of uses per time or something. Because, I don't know, money, money is literally meaningless right now. Okay, okay. Damage up on this hobgoblin. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm literally... Oh, I can't upgrade that thing anymore. <laughs> Okay, well, there's a limit to how many you can upgrade. We now know that. We literally have one HP. I think putting all of our uh, people at the back was a good idea. I think it helped a little bit. The fact that we've already made it to wave 55, though, out of 100. Oh, no, the automatons. The automatons. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Rip. We died, but we got we got a uh, we got three crowns. So let's see this this meta progression here. So the potion seller once unlocked will be able to sell the blizzard spell. The recruiter will be able to sell bugbear tower cards. Recruiter has three cards available for purchase when it spawns. This is a ten gold starting trend with twenty. In addition, a regular merchant is a mystic spawn who can sell healing potions, spell cards, and other mysterious objects. Draw two land cards instead of one. Only one can be placed. Okay. Get a free tower card or bonus when you defeat it. Okay. So, obviously, the potion seller. So, it's just different spells. All spells are empowered. And then the recruiter can sell different types of cards. And then this is marketplace. 
You accumulate large sums of gold. The goldsmith merchant has a chance of spawning. You can smelt coins into cr crowns. Huh. So it's just stuff to sacrificial altar, altar, sacrifice two towers to gain one better card. Huh. Mountain. So there's different types of terrain. I like that. That's going to provide a lot of uh, variety, I think. But overall, nothing that like I think is like single-handedly adding the depth to this game that I think it needs, you know? Like, in my opinion, and I don't want to be super, super, um, you know, thing. I just checked the Steam store to see if this was a early access game. Um, or if it was a, a cheaper game, and it's not. It's $18, you know, compare it to something like Rogue Tower, which is 15 Like, to me, it feels like this game doesn't have the, like, it seems, like, I, I, the base is here, right? But it just... The towers feel about the same. It doesn't feel like there's that much deck building or um, deck building or roguelike mechanics. It doesn't like like rogue towers straight up feels like a roguelike, right? Like you have all the different types of upgrades that you can find. And that's what I was thinking might show up here. But it, I mean, I guess there's different types of spells and different types of units. But like in rogue tower, you would find upgrades to all of your previous ones. And I think that is... You know, I don't know. I don't know. I think there needed to be more of a, a deck building mechanic, you know, to, to, to add to this thing. But so either way, we, we, you know, we did the potion seller. We got the mystics, you know, and then, um, you know, uh, recruit will sell bugbears. So, you know, in the future, if we play this some more, you know, we'll have a little bit more variety. But, yeah, that's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff to do. So overall, really promising game. I think if you're super into tower defense games, this may be an interesting one to check out. Um, I just... It, it got, not old, but it kind of got old very quickly. Um, and I think it's something that could maybe be changed about the game. Um, but I was just waiting for more depth to open up. Like, the game has a perfect base for more depth to be in it. I just don't feel like all of the depth that I'm expecting is here. And obviously more of it will be happening through the skill tree. But, I mean, the money didn't matter, you know? Like, I was kind of just, like, spamming the spells off cooldown. So a couple, couple things... You know, um, and I don't even know if I really have the answers, um, but, uh, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting, interesting. They want you to replay this an awful lot or there's some other progression. You're not seeing the typical stuff you would with a normal deck builder. There's no synergies ramping up difficulty. Yeah, you know, it's obviously probably a little bit harder, but the synergies is something I feel. I think that's a good way to put it. Normally in a deck builder, you're trying to build specific types of builds and... You know, maybe we're doing like a like in Rogue Tower. I'm like, oh, let's do a let's do a, a a plane build, or let's do a shredder build, and come up with synergies and stuff. It's expensive for what is here right now. I, I agree, I agree. But hey, it seems like it's still getting updated. It's not in early access, which concerns me a little bit. Um, but you know, I'm sure the devs will want to keep making this the best they can and um, stuff like that. If you are interested, we are gonna have one copy to give away uh, on our Discord. Um, so definitely, you know, go check out our Discord for future stuff, uh, or just you know cool environment place to be uh, and stuff like that but i hope you enjoyed this video it was still fun checking out to begin with i didn't not enjoy this game i just i think there's so much room for improvement if that makes sense so i hope you guys enjoyed you know make sure you guys subscribe ring that bell like all the big boy youtubers say to be notified uh if we make any more uh ravage road videos um you know obviously check out our other roguelike tower defense games you know like rogue tower um or you know we've got a couple different ones um, check those out. Um, if there are more Ravage Road videos, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Follow us on Twitch. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Ravage Road on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.